It's another beautiful day in Florida and an awesome day to be at the Villages for the SantaCon Southern or Southern SantaCon? SantaCon South. SantaCon South. I'll get it right by next year, I promise. <laughs> So we're at the Sawgrass Grove again today because the Blues Brothers, you see the car back there behind us, the famous car from Jake and Elwood. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. They're gonna be performing live here in just a few minutes. And what else is going on, Tiffany? So most of these big um, activities like this are also fundraisers, especially this time of year. So this one's for Toys for Tots. So they ask you to either bring a toy to donate or a cash donation, either one. So we got to go in there and find where we need to donate our toys. Just wait till you see all the craziness and all the people dressed up like Santa. All right, let's go donate our toys. Let's do it. are phenomenal. Uh, Michael and I were just talking we need to up our holiday game whether it's Halloween or Christmas. Um, we don't even have a golf cart yet but we're planning. We're planning for what we're gonna do. First step is to get a golf cart. The second step is to go get some uh, ideas. So let's go check out some of these awesome awesome golf carts and just see how creative some of the other villagers were for SantaCon South 2023.
for supporting Toys for Talks. That was awesome. Third place golf cart is the Gingerbread Express. So if you haven't seen their cart, there's so many awesome carts out there. It was so hard to judge, it really was. But whoever is the Gingerbread Express, we have a prize for you. Number two, second place for the golf cart is the Tiki Bar. is our, or Tiki Bar is our second place. I don't know where they're at, but come on up. We have a gift card for where you. Where are they? Here they come. There they are. Yay! Congratulations! Their golf cart's awesome. It's delicious. Yeah. All right, I'll do first place. The first go. place golf cart, we're going with uh, Mater. So, who had that one, come on up. That was pretty damn good, the Mater one. All right, so in years past, we had, uh, we gave out a, the best Santa. We just had a little tricky trophy. And uh, I decided we're gonna up the game this year. So, uh, we went with a championship wrestling belt. But we decided it wouldn't be fair for the previous Santas if we didn't offer them their belt. So from uh, 2021, our very first SantaCon, the winner was Chris. Come on up. He's dressed a little bit cooler today, but he was decked out, I think in rubber. It was, it was horrible, it made me wet. It made me sweat just seeing him. There it is. Last year's winner, we had Daryl. I have not seen him today. So, you know, if he comes back, we have his belt too. We have Daryl's belt. belt for 2022. So uh, this year we're going to start with, uh, we've got three, right? We got a koozie and two gifts cards, right? So this year, third place is gonna to go to Cousin Eddie. Come on up. <laughs> and if you haven't seen him, you'll see why he's up. Oh, I like this guy. <laughs> Good job. Shitter's full, he said. All right. Our second place was uh, Tim Crow. The, uh, no, it's St. Nicholas. There's the, oops. All right, and first place, hold on a minute. Has anyone seen our donation jar? The Blues Brothers tip jar, can you bring it over to the, oh, we found it. I think it's in my golf cart. I see it. Somebody got rich. All right, first place this year, Santa Con South 2023, winner is gonna be Adrian. Come on up. Get your belt. I'll let Tim put the belt on Adrian. Yay, Adrian! Perfect. Another gift certificate? From the Grady's Bob, we gotta thank him. Hopefully they're already on their way to uh, Edna's. Okay, yeah. there you go. Okay. okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're good. Thank you, everybody. We're gonna head to Edna's, and I know some people, Rusty's heading straight to Brownwood. We'll all be at Brownwood later, and we were hoping to take a picture at Brownwood. Seneca South. South 2024 edition. Well, better than right? <laughs> our first one. We did. Did you go look at the car? Yeah, oh yeah. You having fun? I am. Probably can't use a yeah, We 
we can mime it to people. I was just taking a photo with the SantaCon winner. Oh, nice. Awesome. Santa! I know him, Santa! Santa! Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Can I get in too? Here we go. Good job, honey. We got to step up our game next year, though. I, we really do. <laughs> and St. Nicholas is awesome, too, over here. Hey, everybody. I'm Michael. And I'm Tiffany. And it is Christmas time in the villages. This is our first year of being full time villagers at Christmas time, and we have been having a lot of fun. Yesterday, we had a blast at SantaCon South, didn't we? Yeah, we, we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into, and man, it was it was pretty awesome. We we were total rookies yesterday, yeah. we'll admit it. But we had so much fun um, just celebrating all that the Villages has to offer at Christmas time that we are back out again today, and we are at Colony Cottage Recreation Center for the Christmas Model Train Show. And this is my first time being here. Tiffany's already been here for a craft show, right? Yes. So we're going to step inside and check out all of the uh, the Christmas decorations and the trains. And then later on, we're going to be making our way up to Lake Sumter Landing, right? Right. What's going on up there? Um, I think we're going to see some Christmas trees. So stay tuned for that. And then make sure you stay tuned at the end of this video. We'll show you more from SantaCon South over at, where were we at yesterday? Sawgrass. Thank you, thank you. Got a whole building full of trains starting over there all the way through all five rooms. So, awesome. So, uh, you know, the more of the toy train type stuff is up in here. Okay. More of the scale stuff is over that way, uh, depending on what your particular interest is, but enjoy it all. Thank you. T today's the last day, yeah, right? Till three o'clock. Till three o'clock, all right. Yeah. So we're going to do this and go up to Lake Sumter Landing and check out the festivities up there, too. There you go. Sounds like a good afternoon. Beat Th the rain. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Santa! I know him! You got a small camera bro, too. A very small camera. I broke the thing. <laughs> Can we get our picture with you? Sure. You wanna jump in there, honey? I'll take your picture. I'll take it with my regular camera. How about that? What did you find over here? Somebody's train quote. Wow, that's beautiful.
gems. They mine the gems. Is this you in 1954? That would be me in 54. No, that's awesome. And this is your train set? You, that's a, that's, that's in the picture. That is so awesome. Engines, and the single bridge and these two ornaments are in that picture. Yeah, yeah. What scale is that? What do I need to see next? This whole room is interactive. All right. So it's a lot of fun. Let's go check it out. much fun there is a lot of talent yeah. in those rooms and their ingenuity or creativity both both of like the materials they yep. used and then just some of the historic pieces were just really really interesting and really pretty yeah and everybody there was uh, super friendly super awesome got to talk to a lot of the uh, the train builders themselves so some of them said they, they spent months and months and months on building their display so if you're here in the villages next year, make sure you definitely come by and check this out. And bring the family. The kids were having just as much fun as the oh. adults. And oh, yeah. They made it interactive. There's a lot of interactive pieces. So great, great activity to bring the whole family out to. And we get to meet a lot of you. So many people uh, actually recognized us. It was really uh, surprising and shocking, but everybody was so friendly welcoming us to the villages. So we're super excited to be here, but it's uh, getting ready to rain. So let's make our way over to, where are we going? Lake Sumter. Lake Sumter and check out some more Christmas festivities.
So we had a lot of fun going out and seeing all of the uh, the Christmas trees and the trains and just all the decorations. And right now we're seeking shelter from the storm because there is a tornado watch, right? Yes. <laughs> For all of the villages. So we're right now in Lake Sumter Landing. Right, at the waterfront end. There you go. And you can see the water right back there behind us. And if it wasn't raining right now, we'd step out there and show you a little bit more of it. But uh, the main reason why we came to the Lake Waterfront Inn is because why? We came to see the Festival of Trees. It is an incredible fundraiser yep. for the Special Olympics, the Florida Special Olympics, specifically Sumter County Special Olympics. So I love that all the money is yep. going to stay local. Um, but a lot of businesses and individuals and clubs from the villages decorate trees and you can come in and bid on them. And there's some really, really cool trees and some that have, I saw lots of gift cards, like a two night stay yeah. here at the Waterfront Inn. And I think it was a gift card for the Brownwood Spa and local businesses and everything. So a lot of fun. There were even wreaths. Yep. I, I may have bid on a couple things. So. Yeah, the trees are beautiful. A lot of creativity. And, of course, there's something for everybody. As you'll see, that the, how they decorated all these. Uh, the Parrothead Club, y'all did a fantastic job with your tree. We really <laughs> love that. Uh, the I forgot which one it was, but it was the red, white, and blue All Americana one that was pretty neat. And the wood carver mm -hmm. um, club from the villages, right. they made a tree and they hand carved all of the ornaments and made some toys that also come with the winning bid. Yeah, yeah. Some of these bids are in the four to nine hundred dollar range right now. I yeah. think there might have been one already over a thousand dollars. Yeah. And then when is the last time they can actually bid on them? Right. So I think the last day is the twelfth. Okay. It, this, you don't have to be there in person and they did this last year so look for it next year again um you don't have to be here on the 12th to bid there's a notebook in there that you can go ahead and write your bids in but they do have kind of a final i think it said they're gonna have a cash bar and a party on the night of the 12th yep. um, and you can make your final bids then and Tiffany's unfortunately going to be out of town on business yeah. uh, the night of the 12th, so we won't be able to be here for that night. But we did bid on a couple of things, so we'll see. Okay. And then we also picked up some information because who knows, maybe we will decorate and donate a tree for next Christmas. Right. I'm going to put all that information on our Facebook page, yeah. so make sure you go over there if you're interested in creating a tree and donating it for next year. Great cause and have some fun holiday spirit in at the same time. There you go. Anything else to kind of say and wrap up uh, all the festivities that we've done this weekend in the villages? I, I think the biggest thing is there's so much to do. You yeah. can't do it all. Yeah. Um, we've kind of felt like we're missing out on some stuff. Right. We find out, oh, that's happening. Oh, that's happening. And you can't do it all. Right. So choose what you want to do the most. But there's plenty to do. You will feel in the holiday spirit, even though it's 80 degrees and raining. <laughs> Um, and everybody's out with their families. Yeah. We saw lots of grandkids, um, adult kids. Like, everybody's out just having a great time. You can definitely find plenty of ways to celebrate the holidays. Yeah, and everybody here was very, very friendly, very, very welcoming. And, again, thank you to everybody that uh, took time to say hello and welcome us to the villages. It's great to officially be here full time now. So uh, enjoy a little bit more of the B-roll from uh, SantaCon South yesterday. And boy, we can't wait to participate in that next year, right? Yes, and we will be on our A-game next year. Yeah, we'll have a golf cart, we'll have it decorated, we'll be all decorated and dressed up for it too. So. And get there early. And get there early, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got there just a few minutes before one, that was our biggest, biggest mistake. So whether you're going to participate or just go watch it, definitely get there early if you want to get a good seat for the concert and just see all the festivities. So have an awesome week and an awesome weekend, and we'll see you in the next video.
thank you so much. Thank you. Merry Christmas!
go a cart full of Grinches and a bunch of other awesome people just uh, finishing up the Santa Con South Christmas golf cart parade